How y'all doing today? Oh, uh, we're doing good. Doing good. Are, are y'all having a problem with the... Uh, we're leaving they, now. Oh, we're leaving. What okay. happened is... Look at me. I, yes, ma'am. Do you have a problem? No, I well, don't come so at me with an, an attitude. On you, I just came out here talking to you. Do you have an ID on you, sir? Why didn't you need my ID? Because in case they want to criminal trespass you. Uh, I'm good. Well, you can give me your ID or you can step out of the car. No, I ain't stepping out of nowhere. Go ahead and step out of the car for me, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, what crime did you Uh, Well, we were trying to ID him for possible, see if they want to do criminal trespass, their what, disturbance. What crime did you this video I'm featuring today, it's a clear case of excessive force. This guy has quite a few videos, but doesn't quite have a thousand subscribers yet. I'd like to get him up to a thousand so he can go live if needed. But I received an email on this incident and I think it deserves some attention. What you're looking at is Officer P.H. McDonald out of Orange County, Texas. He's leaving one call headed to another call for a disturbance outside of a, a hospital. When he arrives at the hospital, he comes in contact with Edward Gonzalez and his wife sitting in their vehicle. Keep in mind, this is not a traffic stop. He pulled up behind them while they were parked in a parking spot. And he let his ego take over almost instantly. How y'all doing today? Oh, uh, we're doing good. Doing good. Are, are y'all having a problem with the... Uh, we're leaving they, now. Oh, we're leaving. What okay. happened is... I, do you have a problem? No, I, well, don't come at me with an attitude. I just came out here talking to you. I'm looking at you right now, sir. Don't get an attitude from the get-go. No, we came up here to bring our friend up here. Mm -hmm. He was bleeding really bad. Okay. And he's on blood thinners and he's in medical vet. And, uh, yes, ma'am. You know, and he was really worried. So when we came in and they were just taking their time, he got kind of upset with them. So then we okay. calmed down and we were sitting here waiting on him. Because yes, we were in his truck and my purse and everything was in his truck. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, they, the front lady, she lied to me. She, she said, um, Mr. Royce is asking for his keys. And I said, okay. And I, I gave him her keys, his keys. Mm -hmm. And then next thing I know, they're coming out telling us that we have to leave. So we left. Okay. All your stuff all my stuff was still in his truck. I got you. I and understand. I couldn't, I couldn't even get in my house. Okay. So, Do you have an ID on you, ma'am? Yes. Do you have an ID on you, sir? Why didn't you need my ID? Because in case they want a criminal trespass you. Uh, I'm good. Well, you can give me your ID or you can step out of the car. No, I ain't stepping out of nowhere. Go ahead and step out of the car for me, sir. Ma'am, unlock the door for me, please. If you reach in my car... Ma'am, unlock, unlock the door, door for me so we don't have a busted window. That, Mr. P.H. McDonald. Yes. Okay. Ma'am, will you unlock the door for us? No, it ain't. I'm sorry. I'm, hey, I'm not another. going to do that. Get it. Okay. Go ahead. Right here, Officer McDonald reaches in the driver window and unlocks the door and tells the other officer to pull, start pulling them out. And remember, this is not a traffic stop. Let's try Same last name. First name, Charles Adam Sam Edward Young. Because we need a criminal check. about the car for me, sir. Don't resist. Don't resist. You know it's going to be a bad police interaction whenever he's telling you not to resist before even touching you. And if you look at his legs, you can see that he's stepping out. Go to rail. Okay. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, yeah. And yes, they just broke his arm, but he's taking it like a champ. Yeah, I like that. Come on. Oh, yeah. You got the charge put on him. Check out the other officer's face. He looks like he's about to get sick. 429, we have one resistant. No, I'm, I'm not resisting, buddy. You just broke my rib. Thank you for letting me tell you, dude. Code 4 1 to tank. Why'd you have to do all that, man? I didn't do anything, brother. Hey. Okay. My, my whole fucking, you got a flashlight or something right here. Okay. Just, just located my, my elbow. Here's elbow yes, dislocated? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm calling an ambulance. The camera's on the ground, sir. I see. I see. Stand right here. Pick it up, please. No, but everything's hey, on camera. Hey, stop. Everything's on camera. Okay. 444, anything on three? I'm going to get their uh, information. That's my knife. 
I got another knife on the other side. Mm. Right here. I mean, I'm, I'm not resisting, sir. You were. We asked you to no, step out sir. several times, and then you tensed up. Anytime you ask somebody to, to, to get out of a car. Yes, sir. We were trying to ID you. Okay. Well, I mean, I wasn't doing anything. You're involved in the disturbance. No, I was not. You think I'm gonna poke the stickers at me? No, sir. Walk over here. Yes, sir. My, this arm, the, the, you, heard, you heard the ligaments or something fucking pop. Uh, but yeah, on my left arm, it hurts. Really okay, okay. Really bad. Okay. Sam, right here for me, okay? Okay. All right, the sergeant's about to walk up and he starts out great, asking the right questions, has the right attitude, but then he kicks it into liability mode. Him out of the car. Uh, he refused to ID himself. Okay. And I asked him to step out. To, uh, I, I said, if you don't ID yourself, we're going to ask you to step out of the car. Okay. And then he refused to step out. So you pulled him out? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. He didn't. Go ahead. Yeah. We did try to ask him several times before, but no, no. What crime did he commit? Uh, well, we were trying to ID him for possible, see if they wanted to criminal trespass, their yeah, disturbance. What crime did he commit? Well, we were investigating that at the time. Disturbance. disturbance. Reference. Yeah. Okay, but... Dispatch advised that he was threatening them. I heard he was threatening people. Hey, y'all heard of uh, Amy Noe? Amy Noe.com? Richard Bay's podcast? Y'all listen to the podcast? And this is where he messes it up. He abandons his oath to uphold the Constitution and starts honoring his oath to the Blue Line Gang. Is he a top state? Yes, sir. I, I can smell a strong smell of alcohol coming from him. I can smell alcohol coming from him. I haven't been able to give him some sobriety test or anything like that. But was he driving? No, sir. Passenger. Was passenger. And driver, uh, she was very cooperative. He gave us her ID and everything like that. He just refused to identify himself, give his name or anything. Okay. So what are we charging him with? Resisting, uh, Anthem said. Huh? Resisting. So not only was this guy unlawfully arrested, they broke his arm, then, then they started working on the cover-up before they turned off their body cams. He's currently looking for a lawyer to file a lawsuit, but hasn't had any luck yet. But once he does get the, the lawsuit filed, I'm sure they're going to be messing with them more. So if you would, go over to his channel and subscribe, and let's get him up to a 1,000 subscribers so he can go live.